Hey Aquarius, what's up? We are here with a timeless reading. The first card that we have out is Nine of Pentacles. The second card we have out is Four of Wands. The next card is Three of Swords. I'm also seeing Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Looks like there's this is a time of healing. There can also be like addressing things that would be leading to healing as well. It looks like it's happening within a relationship, within an established relationship. And this can also be something that you've been consistently tending to. I'm seeing stuff about flowers here. This can be like something that's gonna be happening like around the time of Valentine's Day or maybe something significant around then. Having us start off with the Nine of Pentacles, it's like a really great spot to start off with. It means that like things are working for you. It can also mean that this is a time that you feel like you're actually getting to enjoy things. I'm seeing something about Sam in here. It's, it can be a time where you feel like you're getting to enjoy things where Nine of Pentacles is about getting to a spot where you get to actually be with sort of like the things that you've worked for. So it's like, I worked hard so I could like have a day off or I've been doing this work so I can feel like more harmonious within my relationship with this person or like whatever it is, it's like what you've been working towards being in that moment of like feeling really abundant because of it. And it doesn't have to be even something like physically that's happening for you. It can be a moment where you just like feel like a lot of gratitude and abundance. And having the four of wands here, it would show that you're enjoying time right now that feels like it's worth celebrating or it can feel harmonious in some way four fours are associated too with a sense of stability as well so you could be like i'm enjoying how stable things feel right now and that can also be giving you an opportunity to heal because we do have the three of swords here so because of you being in this time right now where it's like, I don't have to be doing a bunch of stuff right now. I can actually just be in like rest in this. And that's feeling healing to me. Because you know too that it can be difficult to, to address healing if you're still within this situation where like the pain is occurring. Or you feel like you have to make up for something or whatever it is. So it can be hard to address that because you don't feel like you're in the calm state to be doing that or you don't feel like you're regulated enough. Here, starting off with Nine of Pentacles and Four of Wands, this would show like I'm in a position right now where I feel very regulated, where I feel like things are calm, where I feel more settled, where I feel like in touch with the things around me, where things are feeling right. It's like that sort of thing. And then to have the Three of Swords here, it feels like now you may really be seeing like, wow, I'm like really able to address my healing now or like something like that, or I'm seeing a difference now. And I am seeing Ace of Swords, so you can also feel like you're able to see something now that you hadn't been seeing before or something feels clear now in a way that it wasn't feeling before, or you're like understanding something now something like that it's like being able to see but you could have felt like blocked from seeing whatever this was before Seeing four of pentacles come up after three of swords, I just want to clarify and see what this is about. This can be like, regardless of something not being perfect, still being like, it's still worth it for me to hold on to. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a lot that's going on. I'm seeing a lot that's going on here. Some of you, some of you, what I'm seeing is that you're gonna take some time 
Um, I'm hearing the word recover, maybe take some time to recover. You could be taking some time to pull back and, and sort of do like your self care or whatever it is that you need to do, like catch up on sleep or like check in with your body, whatever this is that you need to do. I'm seeing that there's going to be that that happens. It's associated with you sort of like reconnecting and grounding. And I'm seeing too that while you're doing that, it's like while you, on the night that you go to bed early because you feel like you need to catch up on some sleep, I'm seeing that's when you get information come in. So it could have been, or it can be like a, a clarifying conversation that you end up having. I'm seeing, seeing it come in at a time when you feel like it's your like off time in some way. And that can be the thing too is that like you know when we're running around and trying to do things you may find that like the answer that you were looking for the conversation you were trying to have like it didn't happen then but it's sort of like when you take that step back or where when you're like okay i need to focus on me and like think about what i need i'm seeing that sort of be the timing for when something happens i'm getting to that you're in a place where things are feeling good despite like the other stuff that's going on because three of swords would say that as i said before like not everything is perfect and so you would be like there's some stuff here like there are some issues that are being addressed but four of pentacles is like but and even though that's the case this is still something that's worth it to me to like hold on to or to work through so three of swords can be like um there's some sort of issue between you and this person or you and whatever the other party is and you're like but I care about it so much that I'm willing to work through it it's like that type of thing and to have Saturn here it shows that if you're like really willing to show up which Saturn's here so you are that you're going to be able to like see this through it's just about sticking to it because it's something that matters to you this means too that it looks like there's going to be like you're going to close to accomplishing something i keep seeing ace of swords so if you've been working through a cycle a situation this looks like it's connected with like a relationship or like a living situation something like that if you had been waiting for like an answer or for something to be made clear or there was just something that felt like you weren't sure about it or it hadn't been clarified or there was a choice and you didn't know which way to go. I'm seeing like whatever this is that you've sort of been like, okay, I'm just, I have to get through this and eventually it's gonna fall into place. I'm seeing it be like about that time that, th that this thing is gonna fall into place. It looks, it looks too like you're not the only one making certain efforts either. Like if you're planning something with this person, I'm seeing it be a mutual effort that's happening. I'm also seeing there be this feeling of reciprocity as well. But there may have been something that was being planned that could have brought something up is what I'm seeing. It's like you had to like address or face something but I'm also getting to that because of you being in this state of when we're in the nine of coins, you don't feel worried about sharing your energy because you feel abundant. And so you're not being stingy with what it is that you have to give because you're like, I'm boundless and endless with my energy. And so because you're in that state of flow, you can like fully, fully show up within the six of pentacles so you like you come with like full hands to the table <laughs> what i'm seeing here is that it has to do with a relationship you know like rather than empty-handed you come with full hands i'm seeing that this has to do with a relationship and like something that you're figuring out but it also looks like simultaneously you're like healing through something within the relationship so I'm seeing like that impact both the relationship and also the plans that are being made for like where you guys are going. I'm also seeing the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. So you can feel 
like you're being encouraged to move in this direction like the universe just keeps sort of supporting this to continue is what i'm saying so you wouldn't feel like things are working against you to sort of resolve this you would feel like you're being like this is sort of in flow with the direction of things You have to decide on something here. This is like still getting to the point of like, do I want to hold on to this or not? Like, should I stay holding on to this or not? Is that keeping me from another opportunity or a different type of opportunity? Six of Pentacles. There's something popping up that you would feel would be aligned. This feels like it's connected with some type of opportunity and you also feel like you're in a really great position to be able to show up for this. And I'm seeing you want to sort of plot out where you're gonna be moving, but Two of Swords means that you may not have done this yet. Like you still may be deciding on something here and it has to do with it can even be like which opportunity you want to take if you have multiple ones. But I'm seeing, it feels like at this point you may be putting something off. Because I'm seeing like anxiety around options. But I'm also seeing that you're going to figure this out. I'm not seeing this is something that isn't going to be resolved. I'm seeing that it's very much going to be resolved. I'm seeing Cancer on the bottom of the deck. I'm also seeing Saturn here. So you get through this, even though I'm seeing you feel like really in your head about this process, I'm seeing that it does get figured out. Some of you, you just needed to relax a bit. You're investing, but it still doesn't feel like the easiest process. But there can be a feeling too of like obligation connected with like commitment of some sort. I'm seeing a key here. Yeah, we have four of swords popping up. So this is like you actually needing to take time to do. It feels like it's about knowing your limits more than anything and like knowing when you need to. Shift into a more receptive mode rather than an active mode of like taking action and doing things and getting things done and like moving things around. It's about knowing when you need to pull back and rest or to clear your head like that sort of thing because nine of wands is feeling like there's a lot here that's happening it's not feeling particularly easy and this is feeling though more of like it's a marathon not a sprint it's like one of those moments where i'm seeing you i'm getting something about drumming here so i'm seeing you be at that point and having the hierophant here this can be, <clears throat> Hierophant can be a lot of different things. It can be connected with a commitment that you're making. Hierophant can also be like a guide that you are benefiting from as well. And when I say guide, it can mean anything. It can mean like somebody spiritually guiding you through something. It can be somebody that's like part of a community. It can be like, like if you're part of a religion it can be somebody that's at like the head of that that you're working with like you know how there are people within like a, a church or something and like the main person there i don't like know specifically the terminology for everything but you guys know what i mean it's like whoever's at the head of that that would sort of be like the spokesperson it can be connecting with that so anybody that you can feel like 
in a way could be providing you with some type of guidance and because it's the Hierophant, it's like somebody that sees things in a way that expands beyond just like physically, materially what's in front of you. So this can be you connecting with like your own beliefs and this can be you honoring a commitment that you have in trying to figure out what, what to do here. This can also be you stepping into that energy for yourself and like being your own guru, you know? It can be like that sort of thing trying to figure out. I'm seeing something about like beliefs and potentially like spirituality, that sort of thing and healing that is being done. And this can also be like healing that's being done within a commitment that you have with somebody and then trying to figure out what to do and where to go. I'm seeing four of swords, which looks very much like there's two of swords is in the very center of this entire spread that I'm looking at of like the 15 cards that are gonna be coming out here. We don't have all of them, but we have almost all of them and we're gonna pull 15 to complete this spread here. At the very center, we have two of swords. So this means that everything that's happening around here is centered around a decision that needs to be made. What I'm seeing is that there's still some stuff that is going on that needs to be worked through before you can see things as clearly as possible. That's not to say you couldn't make a decision now, you could. However, if you will still spend the time working on whatever this is to be able to like integrate it and clear it out, then it's going to be much more clear to you what you wanna do as far as moving forward. And I'm seeing the advice be not to make this decision yet but to like basically complete the as much of the healing process as you need to in order to be like, okay, no, I, I feel like I have the clarity I need in order to do this. And then you're gonna know what, what you wanna do. You're gonna feel more confident at that point to figure this out. Yeah, you've been working at this is what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is that at some points and even simultaneously, you could be like, I feel like I'm overthinking or this part right here is feeling particularly stressful to me or like I'm feeling some anxiety right now or I'm having a hard time sleeping tonight. However, all around, like in the background, it seems like there's an overall sense of like contentment and even happiness with things as they're going. Like some of you, even though there are these temporary times that you're going through where you may feel concerned or disconnected or struggling with something, to have us start with the Nine of Pentacles and to end with the Sun here, it would show that you're in a spot where you're like, I got this, like I'm gonna figure it out. Like I trust myself to know how to work through this. It's like really feeling like you're in a gray spot. Like Nine of Pentacles is like really the best place to be in, to be working from because you're kind of like seeing the results of what you've done and what you've worked for and that you're able to accomplish what you need to. And Nine of Pentacles is also a card of independence. And so it's like, look at all that I've done for myself and all that I can enjoy because of that or like everything that I've accomplished and look at my life and how it is and where I am with things. It's it's one of those moments of there being recognition even like of your accomplishments and that you get to enjoy things because of that, because of the hard work that you've done. And because Nine of Pentacles is a card of independence, it's like, I worked for this. I did this, so I can thank myself for it. And to have us ending the spread with the sun this is you feeling like even though you're going through all of this and it's not easy because I'm seeing a lot of difficult things that are coming up for you, you can still feel overall like the sense of contentment and happiness going through this 
because you're like plugged into something very important and your heart is very open to which is connected with the sun so you can be like even though in this moment i'm struggling when i take a step back from this i can feel i'm like happy that i'm in this doing it even though this isn't an easy moment right now it's like that sort of thing I'm seeing you're still working through a bit of a karmic test about needing to make a choice and I'm seeing this looks like a very very big choice because this is going to determine something very important about the next cycle that you're stepping into and it's not one of the smaller cycles this is going to be a big cycle that you're stepping into and it feels like deciding sort of like which book you're going to be starting next it's like it's a big moment like that sort of thing it's like, which story am I opening here? Like, which one? And there may be options of like, which one you're gonna be choosing and needing to figure out. I'm also seeing that healing is being done in the process. And I'm also seeing that what looks like it's concerning you most is wanting to make the choice that actually feels like the thing that's most aligned for you because you don't wanna make a choice and be like, this is not aligned for me, and I feel like something else would have been more fitting for me. So I'm seeing that sort of be the fear and also like why there's a lot of hesitance and why you may feel like you haven't gotten to the point yet of figuring out what's the right thing for you. So it, it seems like that is sort of the goal of let me check in and try to figure out like what thing actually is, yeah, just what feels most, most aligned for me. That I'm gonna be like showing up and not not feel like it's draining me but that I'm showing up and feeling like it's giving back to me in the way that I need it to like that you want there to be this like this feeling of balance with the thing that you're choosing so I'm seeing that sort of be like what the concern is about like wanting to make sure that there's reciprocity in whatever choice this is whatever option this is that you decide to choose As I said before, I'm not seeing your guides be like, you don't have to make the decision before you're ready. It's just about continuing to work through this and that it is going to be clarified for you and you will know with confidence, with more confidence than you may be feeling now, like which way to go with this, okay? I'm seeing Taurus and I'm seeing the sun. I'm seeing Saturn as well. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. Ooh, at 2.22, all about choices. I'd like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.